magnitude, and it didn't ask for frequency. We need to find the amplitude period and phase shift and vertical translation. So first thing I always like to always do is identify the amplitude. So remember, amplitude is only going to come in from sine and uh, cosine. And the amplitude, again, represents the half distance from the max to the min. Uh, Danny, if you, you can just put that away. We're not using those today. Um, so the absolute value of A is your amp amplitude. So therefore, that's going to be absolute value of negative 3.5, which is just 3.5. Pretty simple. That's your amplitude. So the next thing is to find the period. Uh, let me write it actually in there. I'll put it to the side so we know. So that is our amplitude. The next one is to find the period. So to find the period, all we simply need to do is 2 pi divided by the absolute value of b. Well, b is what is being multiplied by our x inside of our function, which in this case is 2. So we have 2 pi divided by the absolute value of 2, which is just pi. Remember, the period is how long it takes the graph to repeat itself. So um, now it takes this graph pi, this length, for the graph to repeat itself. Does that make sense? Remember the curve, curve, and it takes pi to repeat itself. Uh, the next one is going to be the phase shift. If you guys remember when we looked at the phase shift on the computer, um, a lot of times the phase shift is the same thing as like the horizontal translation. But I said, don't get stuck on always finding what the phase shift is here. There's a systematic way I want you guys to find this phase shift. Instead of saying, oh, it's going to be right pi halves, what we do is we set bx minus c equal to 0, and we solve. So when I do that, I have 2x minus pi halves equal to 0. Now when I go ahead and solve, I add pi halves to both sides, and I get 2x equals pi halves. Now to solve, by, solve for x, I need to divide by 2 on both sides. Hunter, are you seeing this or you following this? x is going to equal pi fourths. So therefore, I am shifting, in this example, pi fourths to the right, not pi halves. So it's very, very important that when fi identifying the phase shift, which is the same thing as a vertical translation, to make sure that, in, especially when you have a b, to set that equal to 0. The last one is the vertical translation which I'm just going to abbreviate as v dot t. And that's going to be down one unit, because it's negative one, so you're shifting down. And that's just like any other function. 